Alright guys, this video series is probably going to look a bit rough. My camera skills are definitely a bit rusty, if you can't tell by the uh, vertical screen here on some of these shots. But uh, right here, this is called a Lichtenberg machine. It's super cool. Lots of videos on YouTube. Check it out. Um, then you're going to see I put all these pie-shaped pieces together to be glued wow. onto the body blank. Sheesh. Lots of weight. Ah. Now I'm going to make myself look presentable to be on camera. This is super important. Now we're here. Alright, so now we're here. I have gone ahead and I've put my template onto the body blank. And now I'm going to go ahead and rough cut it out on the bandsaw. And then we'll go from there. Let's get to it. <laughs> done okay template bits probably my most favorite tool in all the land and I've got one set up here on the router so now we're just gonna clean up this template and it'll start to look like a guitar let's get to it <laughs> So now I'm just going to use a forcer bit to start to drill out my pickup cavities and holes for my tone knobs and all that good stuff. So let's do that. Pattern bit on the handheld router again. Just gonna clean up this extra that the uh, Forstner bit didn't get. Alright, I am done with the template for the time being. Everything went pretty smoothly. I did have one little slip up that's kinda probably gonna shut me down for the day. It's not a big deal. We can fix it. Let me show you here. Look at that. This thing's going to be sick. So the slip up I had. This piece right here didn't glue well. So I'm just going to have to glue that up. Make sure all the rest are good. And then uh, we'll be back tomorrow. Show you what's next. Alright guys, so I went ahead and did some sanding on this this morning, and it has turned out absolutely sick. Look at that. So now uh, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put a quarter inch round over on the front, and a half inch round over on the back. And that's going to make this thing start to really look, it makes a huge difference. So let's get to it. Here's what this looks like after just a little bit of sanding. Got some scratches off to, you know, finish sand later, but this is just to establish that edge. It's starting to look less like a block of wood and more like a guitar. Okay, half inch round over on the back. Let's get it done. <laughs> All right, so it's actually been uh, about a week since I've been on this project, but I'm back at it now. I've got my neck slot template screwed onto the body here, and I'm going to go ahead and get that routed out. I like to do mine just over 5 eighths of an inch, so it's going to take me a few passes. But let's get to it. go 
All right, so I went ahead, I freehand routed some slots for the wiring to run through, and I've drilled holes that will be where the switches go, the switch between the neck and the bridge pickup. I still have to drill the hole for the input jack and the ground wire for the bridge, but other than that, the body is pretty well ready to be sanded, finished sanded. Um, so we're gonna move on to the pick guard and that will help locate the bridge so I can drill that hole and we'll go from there. Okay, pick guard template, template bit in the router. Once again. <laughs> Okay, so you might have noticed I left this little bit here. I'm um, trying to relocate my bridge a little bit. I've had a problem with not being able to adjust them as much as I would like. So I'm going to see if this will fix it, just giving me a little more distance from uh, nut to bridge. Um, so now I'm going to take this half inch Forstner bit. I'm just going to drill me a hole, like a starter hole here, so that I can run this on the template bit and cut out my pickup holes. So let's do that. After I plug it in. So here it is. I'm now going to switch over to uh, this bit, which will cut a 45 degree angle around this. And I'm going to be careful to not go in the neck slot here or the bridge slot. So, yeah, let's do that thing that I said. <laughs> So what do you guys think? I am super proud of this thing. I think it's turning out amazing. Uh, I'm not 100% sure if I'm going to leave the pit guard just natural like this or not, but it does look pretty cool like that, so we'll see what happens. But uh, I think I'm going to call it for this video. Uh, be sure and watch out for part two where I'll be building the neck, which is by far the most difficult and time-consuming part of building a guitar. And uh, there's lots of really crazy homemade machines I use in my uh, net building process that I think you'll find really fun and interesting to watch. So, uh, yeah, be sure and watch out for that. Um, I'll catch you guys next time.